guys. Now I've got here um, some alloy wheels from GPM for Tamaya truck. Now these are for a 4x2 and um, some rear jewelries and I also have the front rims to match the rears and again they're from GPM. So um, if any of you are interested in these, part number for the front rims are there which is tru 9 of s and they're the Tamaya Truck Alloy front wheel and the Tamaya Truck Alloy rear wheels and there's the part number there TRU090R-S so I'm not going to be using these on my current Scania truck that I'm building up however I will put them together and put them on the truck to show you what they do look like just in case any of you guys might be interested in purchasing some um, I'm going to be fitting them onto the stock Tamiya tyres just so you can see that they all go on and fit nice and snug so I'll get these out of the packets and we can take a closer look right so there we have two pairs of lovely rims front and rears now these aren't really my personal choice of rim for a Euro truck however that's what I will be using them on in the end will be a Euro truck just not the Scania but I do think these look good on like your globe liners and things like that now uh, for a globe liner and stuff obviously they're a 6x2 chassis layout um, sorry a 6x4 chassis layout so you would need two sets of rear, rear jewels but I've got another 4x2 to do after the Scania um, just going to be knocking up a truck out of all the spare parts I've got and stuff I managed to pick up a cheap MAN cab so I should have everything pretty much bar a few bits and bobs here and there to build another truck so I was going to utilise these on there but um, yeah I thought I'd show you on the Scania now you will need to um, pop your own bearings in the front wheels as you would with the Tamaya trucks so you could just take the ones out of those pop those in there but as usual from GPM the machining and stuff on the work is I don't know it's really really good little hook caps there in the centre all bolted on with small little bolts which looks effective in a distance like the big nuts and the rear wheels so it looks like they're constructed together and bolted together using all these nuts within this hub cap but again just nicely finished parts and not only that with running a truck you get that little extra weight down low a little bit more traction for when hauling your loads so pop the tyres on these like I say they're uh, just as you would with your stock to my wheels and we're just going to uh, pop these onto there There's one, the front wheel, and a dual wheel. Now, to be careful, really, when doing the dual wheels, not careful as in like breaking them, but more to make sure you get the tyre on the inside just tucked into that inner lip. Once you've got one tyre on, the next tyre can be fiddly. You know, it can help if you um, warm your tyres up beforehand just makes them a little bit softer they just stretch a bit better there we go so now the Tamiya tyres are now fitted on the GPM rims
not a perfect fit and there's the jewelries so now may as well have a little look at them what they look like on a truck but no I think they should look alright on what I'm putting them on they're not my usual style of rim for a Euro truck as I said but you know they're there it's a build out of a box and spares so may as well use them so that's the truck with the rims on now I haven't unbolted these caps if you remember you have to take all these nuts out then you can take the cap off then you can put the actual hex nut on to bolt your wheel to the hub and same for the rear area so these are just sat in place where they would be but it kind of gives you an idea of the look I actually do like the look of the rear wheels on it the fronts still don't really do it just this for me like I say I think they'd be more suited on a globe liner but no those are the wheels from GPM Racing the Tamiya Truck Alloys and there's the other ones but no overall they're a lovely set of wheels it's just down to personal preference of whether you like that actual design now they do have other designs but when you order from there um, yeah there's not just these there's all sorts on the website so yeah go check them out so yeah if you want to see more RC trucking videos now the little ones are back at school I've got like most of my stuff set back up again now I can crack on and build I kinda miss it <laughs> So yeah, um, there's more to come on the Scania over the next like few days, so I'll keep you guys posted for that. My usual trail videos, I go trailing every week, sometimes a couple of times a week, so I'll keep on posting them also. I've um, got some bits for the Grand Hauler, so there'll be a little bit more Grand Hauler build to come, and also I have something new to build, um, so we'll reveal that as well in the week probably. Um, but yeah like the video and you want to see more um, thanks to you guys who are already subscribed and keep on supporting me for what I do I really appreciate it and the rest of you who might not already be subscribed then please do go ahead hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and I'll catch you guys in the next video ciao for now guys